hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing some box braids on my client she wants her braids not super big but not super small either so they're somewhere in the medium range as for box braids and i gave her rectangular parting so stay tuned so you can see how i got this look okay here's the hair that i used to do her braids it's pre-stretched pre-layered the easy braid professional and i'll leave all the information about this product in the description box at the end of the video Okay, my client wanted box braids, but she didn't want them super big. So I did them like medium big and the partings are also um, at the very nape of the hair. I did them in squares and when I got towards the <clears throat> third row, I did them rectangular because she didn't want a million and one braids in her hair. So keep watching. I'm going to do the first two rows on camera and then I'll come back when I'm halfway done. I use beeswax for braids, the beeswax natural, um, to hold her hair together along with some eco styling gel because her hair is super straight and it's so hard to braid super straight hair for me. So yeah, that's what I did. And you guys bear with me in this video because I'm not feeling that great at all. But I promised my daughter-in-law I would braid her hair today. So I promised the promise. So I had to get it done today. And pardon me if I'm not talking a lot in this video. I'm sorry. I'm really not feeling that great. I guess I just started the video over. Okay, that's my first row, you guys. We're gonna try not to talk and all that other good stuff. But guess what? I'm gonna talk. I just finished my first row. And if I like, oh my gosh. The phone never freaking rings. And as soon as I start recording. Never, never, never. A zero, zero service. Y'all, that ain't nothing but a bill collector. And I surely did not mean to be seen in this video at all. <laughs> Lord, Lordy, Lord, Lord. And when I'm doing these, you guys, I like to brick layer my parties. So there's a braid laying.
And of course, you guys, I will not be videotaping throughout this whole process. What I'm going to do is do this roll for you guys. And then I'll come back when I'm halfway done with the hair so you can see what it looks like. And a lot of people have different ways of doing their braids. They take the three pieces or the two pieces. I just looped this hair over, grab her hair and blend it in. And my knots are not even like knots, like you see some people's knots. And when I'm done, I will show you the hair that I'm using because this is like the best hair ever, you guys. This hair already comes, um, what's the word for it? It already comes pre-stretched and layered. And the hair is super soft on my fingers. Never have my cutest schools cut in my hair. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. Her husband asked me what she gonna get micro braids. Mm -mm. Nope. All this hair? Nope. I don't need three more people helping me. I should have had her put her finger on the base of the braid. However, even with the little stretches that I have, I know that the braid is secure and will not come loose. Or should I say slide out. You guys wouldn't believe it, but my eight-year-old grandson and my two-month-old granddaughter were here, and they acted so well. I mean, the baby barely even cried, and my grandson, you know, I put a movie on for him, but yeah, they were excellent. Okay, right here, I'm taking the hair over her hair and I'm using her hair as the third piece. And as I go on, I blend her hair in with the braiding hair.
I know I'm not talking a lot right now, you guys. I'm just braiding and letting you guys see how I... We started at about 10.25 and it is now 10.40. It shouldn't take me that long to do these. They're not, they're not small, so. When it doubt, take it out. somewhere every time I do your hair she says that she says that <laughs> As my finger, the ring finger on both hands keep getting caught because I had um, rhinestones on here. And when I was in my client's hair the other day, it kept catching onto the hair. So I took the rhinestones off and I guess where the glue is from the rhinestones is catching onto the hair because it's not smooth. But guess what? We're going to work this out, y'all. We're going to work this out. Ain't going to be a problem.
first two rows. I'll come back when I'm halfway done. And before I do that, let me let you guys see what kind of hair this is. It's like the best hair ever. It's the easy braid, professional braid, and it comes um, pre-stretched already and layered. And this hair is like super, super soft. Okay, we'll be back when we're halfway done. Okay guys, 35 minutes later and I'm halfway done. And I'll come back. Okay, wait, first of all, let me tell you what I did. This hair, she used this color. Let me get it off the box. This is the first color she used. And it's a 1B and 27. So it's like highlighted, but really not highlighted. We wanted that all in the back. And the next color we're gonna use is going to be the 26 inch number 27. Oh, that's gonna look real cute with the light at the top. So I'll come back when I'm done with the rest of the braids, you guys. Okay guys, I'm done with the braids. I started at 10.35. It is now 2.15. And I'm done. I still have to dip them and stuff, so yeah. Let me just turn around. Not so fast. Can I turn around? And as you can see, I put the light here at the top, which is what she wanted. So stay tuned. I'm gonna dip her, dip the hair, I should say. And then I will come back with the final look. And this one right here, she was just a good baby the whole time. Hey, little girl. Say hi, people. Say hi, people. Okay, guys, I'm done with the dipping and the clipping, and this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to um, subscribe, like, share, and comment. And here are some links that I can be followed on.